what up guys today i'm gonna be showing you guys what i call the infinity hole effect i noticed this effect inside of a music video by the concrete boys which is lil yachty's uh group that he put together and i'll show you guys what it looks like right now so that's what we're going to be creating today so i left a link in the description for a file that you'll be able to use to create this effect once you got this file downloaded bring it into Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys how to create this effect all right as you can see this is the file I created this file that way it's three times longer than a 4k file same height but three times longer you know that way you can use it in a 4k timeline or in a 1080p timeline well, let me show you guys how to use this you want to bring this all the way up as far as you can all right, right now I have 16 tracks created. One of them is being taken up by the file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to the video clip that we have. We're gonna shrink this down at about 37%. That's what, I have a 1080p file. I can shrink it down to 37% to make it fit. So basically you wanna create a mask. I'm gonna do ellipse mask which makes it easier because it's already a circle and I'm just going to fit it to this circle all right once you got it fitted to the circle to the best of your ability we're going to start duplicating so what you would do is you would shoot different scenes and you would put these different scenes I didn't shoot a whole bunch of scenes, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut up the actual video in pieces just so it's not all the same. I'm just going to cut them up like that. So this would be your second clip. You would take that down, come over to position, and just move it over to the left until it fits in that circle. I suggest that you zoom in just to make sure that it's in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put some different effects on it. and you're gonna just keep doing that move it over I am and just keep moving it over so let's keep moving it to the left I'm gonna speed this part up so you guys don't have to sit through this whole thing. So now that we got this last one in place, what you wanna do is you wanna highlight all of those, all of your videos. Let me just stretch it out first. All right, now that I got this stretched out a little bit, Yours would obviously be as long as you want it to be. Um, I'm going to highlight all of these, right click, and nest them. Once I got it nested, I can bring it up, hold Alt, and drag it down. And then I want to add a horizontal flip to the second one, which will bring it to the other side. Now, it's not lined up correctly. But all we need to do is take the position and drag it to the right. Just like that. Now, we got this whole one row done. Now what we can do is we can nest these two. we could duplicate that take that duplication and bring it down do the same thing until you fill it all the way up once you got this all filled out all you have to do is export this video file and then bring it into your 1080p 
uh, timeline or your uh, 4K uh, 2160 timeline. One thing I did forget to say is that with this effect, um, try to make sure you have a good computer, um, that it's an efficient computer. If not, and you have an older, slower computer, this, this effect is really going to kill your computer. I have a pretty decent computer and this effect still bogs down my computer a lot. Alright, so I already had one rendered out because I know it would take forever to render out, so I had one already done. Um, like I said, if you don't have a decent computer, this is going to take forever to do. So make sure you have a decent computer when trying to do this effect. But let me show you what I had rendered out. Right, that's, I mean, that's cool. That's cool, but we can do, we could add more to it. We're going to go to the effects controls and we're going to look up turbulent displacement. Gonna add that on there. And that already makes it a little cooler. And you can mess with the with the settings on here on your turbulent. Bring that up. That makes it look cool. You know, it's not just static shot. You can turn down the settings, turn on the turbulent on here if you really wanted to. Turn down the amount. Alright, on top of that, you can add a lens distortion. Put that on there and bring that curvature down to the negative. Something like this. That'll give you some crazy Alright, so I highly suggest again, um, once you got everything layered like you want it, export it as a video and bring the video back in. That will save your computer a whole lot. Um, you can check out the finished product. And that's it, man. It's really as simple as that. Um, like I said, the link is in the description where you can download this file, um, stretch it out as long as you need, um, add your videos, and you're good to go. But look, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Once again, the link's in the description. Go and download that file and start creating. Let's get it. I'm out.